I'll also try to share um, my thought process over and over again so that it becomes very clear to you. And when you take mock tests, uh, you can apply that, right? So four to five questions from these topics. Uh, and uh, the challenge is that you have five to six minutes, right? So it's like, you know, one, one and a half minutes you have to read and mark and move forward. Uh, so uh, the, the main point becomes uh, in limited time, uh, I read, I mark and uh, I get it correct, right? Because we, we know we the 40 minutes, 24 questions, that to four RCs, right? Uh, typically, uh, eight to 10 minutes is what people are able to save uh, for the eight VR questions, right? This is four to five questions. These are the topics. So, uh, I hope uh, the overall picture is clear. So, uh, let's uh, get started. I'll take up some CAT previous year questions also, some uh, B factory content questions also. Uh, basically, uh, the, the idea is to, uh, you know, consolidate uh, the thought process uh, question by question as because th this will be activity based a short as a sheet i'll give in the end but th that will be later uh, but uh, question by question i'll give you a couple of minutes to try right and uh, then uh, uh, i'll uh, dem de explain uh, give my explanation uh, to any question right uh, in case you're not able to uh, you know uh, uh, by chance understand uh, any explanation i'll share the deck as well uh, at the end and this session also will be uh, recorded and uh, uploaded on youtube all right so that that kind of a revision backup uh, you can uh, have uh, tomorrow or day after if required okay so let me share my screen just give me a minute so be patient uh, there will be a lot of gyan coming in terms of uh, how to solve an attempt uh, but this will help you directly in uh, getting uh, questions correct. All right. Uh, so, Ashwarya, Amitesh, anyone, Animesh, uh, please confirm. Is the presentation visible? All right. Thank you. So, le let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to discuss today is my, uh, my perspective on uh, para summary, right? So be, what is a para summary? Para summary essentially is an exercise which captures essence of text. Quite often this phrase has been used in CAT. Best captures, you know, best captures the essence of text. So basically, you have to summary nikalna hota. Now, what does this mean? Basically, we are looking at options and trying to understand that which option uh, kind of covers the main points given in the passage. All right. So, what kind of reading can we do? Objective oriented reading will help, first of all. Okay. If you want to make short notes, do that. Okay. What I'm saying here is not any theoretical approach, very practical thinking which in less time, how to get it right in the first shot, that thought process I am sharing with you. Reading should be objective oriented, which means focus on catching the main points. All right. And also focus on catching the theme. Now, dear students, these two things, if understood, makes para summary a very easy topic to score. But this objective needs to be in your mind right at the time when you are actually, when you start reading the paragraph itself. Focus on catching the main points and focus on catching the theme. What do we mean by the theme? Theme is the answer to the question, what did I read about? So what do I mean by main points here? Okay. In, in a typical maybe paragraph, there might be three to four uh, new or worthy or, uh, you know, uh, additional or, you know, uh, focus or add-ons, add-on points. These are the main points. So, try to capture, okay. Uh, so, if you capture these main points, you know, it's like A, B, C and D are main points. So, the best para summary, it will be something of the form A plus B plus C plus D or among options, whichever captures it the best. Got the point? Now, uh, 
why do I say capture the theme? Because quite often theme is, you know, uh, uh, so not necessarily you will get options which have all. You might get options like this, see. You might get options like A, B, D, E, F. Uh, and maybe there will be another option, A, C, D. Right? Uh, see, I have not even given a paragraph. I am just telling you how to think uh, uh, fast. A, A, C, D. And uh, there is another option, C, D, F. Right? So, amongst these three uh, options, which one will, will be the correct answer? Batao chat me. A, B, C, D are main points in the passage. Right? And if you have these three options, which one becomes the correct answer? Yes, Yash. Correct. It's two. Uh, so, why, why do we say that uh, Salvi, uh, correct, uh, Rashid, Salvi, everyone, because E and F are not mentioned, right? If something is not mentioned, it cannot be a part of the uh, summary, right? Similarly here, F is not mentioned, right? Or, but now if I give you another option, not necessarily that you will get an option like this, which one becomes the better answer now? If I create an option D, so this is the game basically. I, I hope uh, this, uh, that you are understanding the thought process. Turan se passage padna hai. While reading, try to capture the main points. Ki additional point ya naya point kya kya bola hai. Usme focus rakho. Objective oriented reading karo. And then in options, choose an option which best covers those points. Amongst options. Theek hai. Now B is not wrong. But D covers it better. So this is the thought process that you... Uh, follow. Uh, uh, catching the theme quite often, uh, you know, that kind of a mindset, ki what did I read about? Uh, uh, this kind of a mindset usually gives you the best summary. Uh, but this is a sub point actually. Uh, I, I find this uh, useful sometimes, but mostly focus on catching the main points. This is the key. Right. So this is how we solve uh, para summary. I'll wait for a minute and uh, if anybody wants to note this down, do that. Just note it down or thumbs up do or done kardo after you have noted. I'll I'll just wait for one minute. All right. So I, I, I hope you have got the essence of this topic. Now, uh, what we will do, guys, is one uh, two type of questions. We will do a thorough discussion and analysis karenge, you know, uh, before I get into some kind of practice on it. Uh, so listen to the instructions carefully. Do not try to uh, rush into uh, solving. Uh, I will share instructions with you. Okay. Look at this, everyone. Number uh, one. There is a para, uh, para summary uh, question here. ठीक है. आपको best summary बताना है. ठीक है. Just एक मिनट देना ना. You have to tell the best summary. But Just give me a minute. Uh, anyone please confirm once. Uh, do, do you see a sample question one on screen? Just confirm once. Yes. Okay. So read this paragraph and 
amongst options try to find out which one is the most appropriate summary for the given paragraph theek hai now listen carefully theek hai i will wait for 1 and 1/2 to 2 minutes to aap bahut jaldi karoge koi fayda nahi hai theek hai ek se 2 minute time lo padho instruction sun lo ek baar theek hai if sure ठीक है राइट एन आंसर ऑल राइट इफ नॉट श्योर जस्ट राइट विच ऑल कुड यू एलिमिनेट रिमेंबर फास्ट सॉल्विंग में एक्यूरेसी लाने के लिए एलिमिनेशन थॉट प्रोसेस होना बहुत जरूरी है ठीक है अगर श्योर sure नहीं हो रहे तो केवल इतना लिखेंगे कि कौन कौन सा नहीं होगा डेफिनेटली नहीं होगा गॉट द पॉइंट एक राउंड जल्दी से थम्सअप दे दो इफ यू अंडरस्टूड ऐसे सोचना पड़ेगा तभी स्पीड में ना स्कोर अच्छा कर पाएंगे ऑल राइट right, चलो यू गॉट द पॉइंट ठीक है चलिए स्टार्ट आई विल वेट फॉर टू मिनट्स एंड देन वी डिस्कस one more minute if you are done wait okay we are just trying to understand the topic this is a cat 21 question राइट द आंसर ओनली इफ यू आर श्योर जो लोग श्योर नहीं है इट्स ओके जस्ट ट्राई टू एलिमिनेट बी श्योर इन एलिमिनेटिंग वॉट यू आर एलिमिनेटिंग राइट ओके तो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द डिस्कशन नाउ राइट Now pay attention, everyone. See, uh, this is the last year CAT question. You know, uh, I, I started as examples with the latest CAT question just to give you an idea. Uh, ki kis tarah ke questions aate hai, kaise tackle karna hota hai. Now, now look at this screen. I am sharing my thought process here. The first line I read: Foreign peacekeepers often exist in a bubble in poor countries. Who are we talking about? Foreign peacekeepers. What about them? they live in fancy posh settings distance themselves from locals and this might be justified because they live in fear it's not easy for them but they are despised by the locals a better solution would be bottom up peace building where these people uh, they work with the communities and earn trust rather than only working with the government officials so see while reading i have bold made bold some points just to show that my mind tries to capture the main points what are we talking about so i'll just write in chat to illustrate the process here we are talking about foreign peacekeepers right in poor countries and what do they do they have to live in uh, uh, you know uh, they have to distance and live right uh, because it's not easy right because of circumstances theek hai now the next part my mind reads is better solution 
better solution will be to work with the poor people bottom up right so while reading itself the objective is pretty clear read fast capture the points okay now go to the options look at option number 1 The environment in poor countries has tended to make foreign peacekeeping forces live in enclaves, but it is time to change this scenario. Okay, uh, this is talking about uh, uh, foreign peacekeepers living in enclaves. This this is true, right? I I hold it. Okay, let's go to two. Peacekeeping duties uh, would be more effectively performed by local residents, given their understanding. Not mentioned. So see. ऑप्शन नंबर टू इज अ क्लियर नो ऐसा तो नहीं बोल रहा है कि लोकल्स को करना चाहिए ये बोल रहा है कि इन्हीं लोगों को लोकल्स के साथ मिलकर करना चाहिए ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री एक्स्ट्रावेगेंट लाइफ स्टाइल एंड अलूफ एटीट्यूड अमंग द फॉरिनर्स जस्टिफिएबली मेक दम टारगेट ऑफ लोकल एंगर अरे बाबा नो नो क्लियर नो तो ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इज ऑल्सो क्लियर नो ऐसा थोड़ी बोल रहा है कि सही बात है इनको लोकल लोगों को पकड़ पकड़ के पीटना चाहिए हाँ ये लोग एक्स्ट्रा वेगेंट लाइफ स्टाइल थोड़ी जीता है मजबूरी में वैसे जीता है बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ फियर पैसेज में ये टोन है राइट थ्री भी गया ऑप्शन फोर पीस कीपिंग फोर्सेज इन फॉरन कंट्रीज टेंडेड टू बी अलूफ फॉर वॉलेट वैलिड रीजन बट इट वुड बी मोर इफेक्टिव इफ दे वर्क क्लोजली विद लोकल कम्युनिटीज नाउ आई कंपेयर एक बार में वन एंड फोर एंड आई सी दैट फोर इज मोर होल capturing the theme than one because it also talks about how to change the scenario by working more closely with the local communities that is the difference between 1 and 4 right so uh, 4 is the right answer uh, this is the i i, I went very slow but uh, you know practice class to hogi ha tum test mein bhi karoge thought process crystal clear hona chahiye crystal clear you have to capture the main points while reading you have to say some no's na learn to say no hai na learn to say no this is very very important kam se kam ek do option to aisa hona chahiye jo clear reason se no ho jana chahiye reason will be different hai na fir jo bacha usme dekhna hai kaun sa hole ko capture kar raha hai kaun sa nahi kar raha hai how many of you enjoy this is a cat 21 set kisko kisko maza aaya round of thumbs up please if you have understood chaliye very good good to see uh, there, there will be a practice session but samajh gaye to fir khela done hai na i personally feel if the process is very clear chances of uh, getting correct become high provided you learn to say no because if you have said no to a couple of options chances of being accurate becomes more right okay uh now listen to the instructions everyone theek hai before we proceed i would like to take up another question para summary pari uh so give me a minute ek aur banate hain dhyan se banana listen carefully if you are not able to reach to the answer for sure don't worry at all keep the mindset very clear see how many for sure you are able to eliminate even if you are able to eliminate one or two that's a level of success hai na theek hai with practice ya with in the exam you will take your chances then accordingly theek hai but eliminate all right are we ready coming to question number 2 again a cat passage 2021 based you can start now i'll give you a couple of minutes i will start discussion only after 2 minutes not before that sure nahi hoge ekdam darna nahi hai bas kaun sa sure no ho pa raha hai wo sochna hai
All right. Uh, let's uh, start the discussion then. Sorry, I missed the message. Uh, screen is not. I I, I think so, uh, it's it's visible because people have written. Uh, right. Good 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 to share. Okay. Now. Uh, anyone please confirm just a thumbs up please uh, am i audible clearly yes all right thank you chaliye to see now 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 this question guys uh, i would rate this a, a slight level above the previous one because previous one was more uh, direct isme thoda closer options hai hai na but aapke paas time will be the same you have to run through it and get to the answer let me demonstrate my thought process first reading and then i'll explain the answer look at this everyone while reading developing countries are becoming hotbeds of business innovation well, what are we talking about we're talking about developing countries becoming hotbeds of business innovation how reinventing production distribution systems trying new business models earlier sources of labor but now becoming leaders in innovation driven by a mixture of ambition and fear they keep climbing they have become competitive not just in their own backyards but also going global themselves right now see i'll tell you some things look at option number 1 competition has driven emerging economies one suppliers of cheap labor to become innovators of business models Uh, going up the value chain and going global. Okay. पहली बात तो यार वन वाला पढ़ के ही लग रहा था कि एकदम उसी को एकदम ना छोटे में पूरी बात को शॉर्ट में कह दिया लुक गुड होल्ड अंडरस्टैंड डोंट गेट टू द आंसर राइट इन द बिगिनिंग होल्ड इट ऑप्शन टू प्रोडक्शन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मॉडल्स आर गोइंग थ्रू रैपिड इनोवेशन एज डेवलप कंट्रीज आर बींग चैलेंज बाय सप्लाई फ्रॉम डेवलपिंग वर्ल्ड this is a part now i i ask you a question and tell me uh i i'll take two three names just just for the uh, sake of it uh to be sure that you are getting my point uh chandan himanshu hari isha ishika khushi guys do you get my point when i say थोड़ा सा थीम पकड़ने से इजी हो जाता है द थीम इज अबाउट डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज ग्रोइंग नॉट जस्ट अबाउट प्रोडक्शन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मॉडल्स टेल मी डू यू गेट दैट पॉइंट वाई आई वॉज जस्ट कीपिंग इट एड एज अ पॉइंट देयर बिकॉज इट वर्क यार कई बार पूरा समरी निकालने में ना इट्स नॉट जस्ट अ सम ऑफ पॉइंट इट्स ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड की वॉट आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट यूर कैप्चरिंग द एसेंस ऑफ टेक्सट यू कैन नॉट डेविएट फ्रॉम द थीम right so two has david it's it's not wrong but it's a part it's not the whole right we are two does not talk anything about uh, uh, you know uh, emerging economies and how uh, they are uh, go, go, going global and uh, ex business innovations etc etc one is better three developing countries are being forced to invent new business models so that they can remain competitive domestically now i beg to slightly differ from the highlight here uh they can remain competitive domestically clear no and learn to enjoy learn to look at right and wrong very objectively okay uh, learn to say no is a tough task okay uh, especially in our indian culture we don't like saying no it's not easy for us right but learn to say no is very important when it comes to cat because dekhna ye hota hai ki you have to become judgmental theek hai look at option 3 it's saying so that they can remain competitive domestically look at the passage it's saying they are also going global themselves to same baat boli nahi raha na to baat to sahi nahi hai fir theek hai option number 4 innovations in production and distribution are helping emerging economies compete with countries to which the supply labor yeah 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 it's very similar to option 2 but this is not the main main the, it's not covering the whole it's just a part right the main part where emerging economies which were earlier suppliers of labors innovating in different ways going global that is covered better in one hence answer is one three is a clear no okay 
टू एंड फोर आर पार्ट नॉट होल आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग हाउ वी एलिमिनेट वन बिकम्स द राइट आंसर अनदर कैट टू जीरो टू वन पैसेज आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड सम ऑफ यू जस्ट कैन यू गिव अराउंड ऑफ थम सर इफ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द टॉपिक हियर मेन पॉइंट पकड़ना है थोड़ा थीम पकड़ना है एंड ऑप्शन में से जाके नो वालों को एलिमिनेट करना है एंड बाकी में से जो बेस्ट लगे उसको चूज करना है राइट ऑल राइट गुड टू सी द कॉन्फिडेंस वेरी वेल लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन नाउ बिफोर वी प्रोसीड इन टू सम मोर वेरिड एग्जाम्पल्स टूडे let's cover the next fundamental for the day what is odd one out dekho yeah uh pallavi am i audible now can you hear me yeah uh, guys uh, am i audible okay chalo to to let's uh, continue chalo dhyan se dekho what do we understand by odd one out hai na there will be four or five statements given theek hai Let me take one. Ah, other. Oh, well, uh, this has changed in CAD, but I'm taking one. Just it can be four or five. So let's say there are five statements. I'm just taking one. Four of these form a meaningful paragraph. Okay. And one is left behind. Okay. And that is the odd one out. that is the odd one out right guys i think there is a technical problem jinko nahi sunai de raha rejoin kariye am i audible okay if if anybody is having a lot of difficulty i'll upload this session on youtube and share the link as well theek hai by chance agar zyada dikkat ho rahi hai to aap usse suniyega theek hai all right so let's discuss out of five statements four form a meaningful paragraph and one is left behind and that is what we call the odd one out right now ye to theek hai hai na this is something we all understand hai na now i'll share with you the fast solving psychology how to master this topic okay see there are three things which i'll talk about again as i said in the last case uh main point or theme wali cheez it's not ki one is right other is wrong just the different things which are good to keep in mind while attempting this topic three things to keep in mind okay सबसे पहला द वेरी बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑर्डर ऑफ पैराग्राफ और लेट्स कॉल लिंक्स और लेट्स से पैराग्राफ फॉर्मेशन दिस इज वन वे ऑफ थिंकिंग ऑफ अबाउट इट इफ यू आर एबल टू फॉर्म अ पैराग्राफ एंड वन सेंटेंस इज लेफ्ट आउट दैट ऑटोमेटिकली बिकम्स द आंसर वेरी सिंपल राइट ओके कभी कभी ऐसा करने की जगह वॉट ऑल्सो वर्क इज थीम वर्सेज सब थीम वॉट डू आई मीन बाय दैट थीम वर्सेज सब थीम जस्ट ए मिनट
Okay. So theme versus sub theme means for all five sentences. Okay. All five sentences are related to some some topic, which means some subject, some theme or subject. Okay. But there is a sub theme which connects four but not one. This is one way of approaching the topic. All right. This is one way of approaching the topic. Okay. I'll give an example. Dekh na. And the third way is while reading itself. While reading itself, one sentence seems to third is actually you know a subtype of uh, the second one only. While reading, one sentence seems to be a bit out of place. अगर ये चमक गया तो वो आंसर है मोर ऑफन देन नॉट यही हो जाता है सीधे आंसर ये मैं इसीलिए बता रहा हूँ सच बोल रहा हूँ बिकॉज ऐसा मेरे को बहुत बार लगता है कि यार ये वाला आउट ऑफ प्लेस है इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉन्टेंट और टोन है ना या सब्जेक्ट आउट ऑफ प्लेस मीन्स वॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉन्टेंट टोन और सब्जेक्ट अगर ये ऐसा पकड़ा जा रहा है मोर ऑफन देन नॉट इन द अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम दैट यू हैव यू विल हिट द राइट आंसर सो इट जस्ट अबाउट द थिंकिंग साइकोलॉजी ठीक है I will wait for uh, a minute. एक बार डन लिख दो या थम्स अप दे दो इसको नोट कर लो एक बार नोट करके जल्दी से बताओ ओके okay. एक मिनट हा राइट नाउ लेट मी गिव यू अ सिंपल एग्जांपल हा जस्ट हैव अ लुक ऑन द स्क्रीन आई एम राइटिंग समथिंग देखना Now, एक मिनट राइट विच सेंटेंस इज द ऑर्ड वन आउट यस वेरी गुड Now, C is the odd one out because I'll tell you what is the common thing in all these. Th uh, what is the general theme? We we are talking about uh, cricket, but we are also talking about Ranchi, right? है ना? ठीक है. But if you see uh, which One combines n minus one sentences to form a sub theme. That is the way you have to think. Which one theme combines n minus one 
सेंटेंस इज टू फॉर्म अ पैराग्राफ तो द आंसर इज क्रिकेट डू यू गेट इट बिकॉज ऑप्शन ए एंड डी का वेदर से कोई लेना देना नहीं राइट ओके नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इसी चीज को ना कभी कभी पढ़ते समय फास्ट में ऐसे लगता है यार कि बाकी मैच का बात कर रहा है एक वेदर का बात कर रहा है स्लाइटली आउट ऑफ प्लेस सो दैट इज द थिंकिंग साइकोलॉजी दैट आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग तो दिस वॉज जस्ट अ सिंपल यू नो आउट ऑफ द ब्लू एग्जाम्पल जस्ट टू मेक अ पॉइंट लेट्स कम टू एन एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन यूर अगेन फॉर एग्जाम एज एन एग्जाम्पल आई हैव टेकन अ कैट टू जीरो टू वन क्वेश्चन लिसन टू द इंस्ट्रक्शन केयरफुली रीड द इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवेन आई विल डिस्कस ओनली आफ्टर टू मिनट्स ठीक है इफ यू आर नॉट श्योर डू नॉट राइट एन आंसर प्लीज ट्राई टू इनकलकेट दैट काइंड ऑफ अ हैबिट अगर तुमको श्योर नहीं लग रहा है तो आंसर मत डालना इफ यू आर श्योर देन राइट एन आंसर स्टार्ट look for the one which is out of place or try to form an order of sentences uh, and one will left uh, be left behind or try to see which one is not related to the actual theme which connects the others these are the thought processes which can lead you to the right answer all right so let's uh, discuss this one have a look here very good vivek see try to uh, look at this logic look at the sequence 1 4 3 there is a dark side to academic research especially in india because of uh, predatory journals four they claim to be indexed in most influential databases say they possess editorial boards that compile uh, uh, researchers and etc and have a very good peer structure in look and feel does they are exactly like any reputed journal but in truth as long as you pay you can get anything published two reasons why five goes out we are talking about indian predatory journals that is the sub theme which connects 1 4 3 and 2 5 is the odd one out because five is talking about the global scenario point number 1 second it is talking about some generic academic publishing scam this is cat 2021 give me a thumbs up if you understood order dekho aur samjho topic seekhna hai practice class hogi mocks mein bhi banaoge baat samajh mein aa rahi hai to batao I talked about all the logics which you can think. अगर किसी को यह सोच के लगता है कि यार बाकी सब इंडियन जर्नल्स की बात कर रहा है और एक विदेशी है कोई उतने में ही मार्क कर देता ठीक है फॉर सम वन गेटिंग द होल ऑर्डर दैट मेक्स मोर सेंस राइट एनी वेज सो दिस इज वॉट द टॉपिक इज वाइल्ड रीडिंग ट्राई टू लुक एट वन विच इज स्लाइटली ऑफ ऑफ प्लेस सो इफ यू ट्राई टू फॉर्म एन ऑर्डर वन विल फॉलो ऑफ n minus one sentences will be connected by a sub theme. That is a thought process that you need to follow every time you you get these questions. All right? Okay. चलिए. Uh, uh, there 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 is nothing to get nervous if you are not getting sure right now. You are learning the approach, है ना? 
in in uh, in the classes and in uh, every mock you have to use the same approach okay so just try to focus on the approach right now uh let's check this one out A another cat question i want you to try and mark only if you are sure there is no need to take any pressure okay i will discuss after 2 minutes okay uh, seeing that uh, we have not uh, reached to an answer that is perfectly fine let me ask you a question how many of you are confused between 1 and 4 i see some of you are right okay uh it's it's very uh, natural to get confused at times this is a moderate level question but let's try to attack this question now see one thing look at option now ye sab cheeze na i'll be taking a, a vr master class 2 i'll take up para jumbles in that so some of these things we will discuss in details there but have a look here option number 2 outer space is a common space for exploration but there is a space law right and it is state centric and possibly not very suited for a commercial future state centric means related to government policies okay number 5 at issue now is commercial activity as private firms rather than nation states look to space for profit theek hai to pehla cheez jaise para jumbles mein hum log ye sab baat karenge 2 and 5 are linked yaad karo maine likha tha us samay keh raha tha na links dekhna padta hai agar thoda sa complicated question ho to look for links uh, give me a thumbs up if you are understanding the point 2 is talking ki space law कमर्शियल फ्यूचर के लिए आ, बहुत फायदेमंद नहीं है फाइव कह रहा है लेकिन आज अभी का प्रॉब्लम क्या है कि प्राइवेट फॉर्म्स राधर देन स्टेट्स लुक फॉर स्पेस फॉर प्रॉपर्टी फॉर प्रॉफिट ठीक है राइट ओके नाउ व्हाट आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट हियर 
we are talking about uh, exploration of space state versus uh, private firms looking for profit commercial activity right you know it is not between countries that we are talking about we are talking about state versus uh, any kind of uh, private entity like let's say uh, spacex elon musk looking for a profit or something like that right so 25 to linked now three continues by saying laws adopted by us and luxembourg are first steps but they protect from compatriots it will protect let's say a, a, a new jersey from texas right but uh, chinese company will not be bound by us law right so three is continuing that point hai na samajh mein aa rahi hai baat fourth uh, or first mein aap dekho to two five or three to bahut ye ye link samajh mein aa raha hai they are all talking about uh, commercial activity mein state versus private ka confusion theek hai now one or four ko dhyan se dekhte hain theek hai one versus four is where some people get confused in this particular question look at four critics say us is conferring rights that it has no authority to confer okay russia has condemned this disrespect for international law okay थोड़ा आउट ऑफ प्लेस ना वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पेस लॉ ये इंटरनेशनल लॉ कहां से आ गया और कौन सी राइट्स की बात कर रहा है वन को देखो थ्री को देखो अब कंपनीज बाउंड नॉन बाउंड कमर्शियल एक्टिविटी रिलेटेड टू आउटर स्पेस एंड वन से लीगल स्टेटस ऑफ रिसोर्स माइंड रिमेन्स एम्बिक्यूस है ना वाइल द मार्केट फॉर दीज थिंग्स इज नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट इज लाइकली टू चेंज एज थिंग्स चेंज राइट तो वन जो है इट इज ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट लीगल स्टेटस ऑफ रिसोर्स इन स्पेस एंड फोर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इंटरनेशनल लॉ एंड क्रिटिक्स गिविंग राइट राइट फोर सीम्स आउट ऑफ प्लेस एंड इज नॉट डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू द पैसेज टू फाइव थ्री वर क्वाइट इजी टू गेट हेयर है ना यू हैव टू कैप्चर दैट वन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेम थीम विच इज लीगल स्टेटस ऑफ थिंग्स इन द आउटर स्पेस राइट एंड फोर इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू uh legality uh, with respect to uh, uh state versus private and hence four becomes the odd one out so it was a moderate level question uh but uh, the idea is to get an uh, insight into uh, how to work these questions out if you have a question jahan par let's say char ka char order ban gaya tab to bahut aasani se ek nikal gaya kahin kahin pe teen link ho jate ek mein doubt hota hai to that is where you uh halt for a you know 30 seconds and decide which one seems more suited and then you take your call that is the thought process that you have to follow theek hai so this is uh, uh about what these topics mean uh i want to do a bit of practice with you on both these topics just to reinforce the thought process uh these were cat based last year questions abhi thoda hum log non cat type ka bhi lenge uh thoda sa practice karte hain jaldi jaldi answer batana If you are not sure, तो मत बता रहा ठीक है आर वी रेडी चलो कमन गाइज राउंड ऑफ थम्स अप लेट्स अटेम्प दिस अबेट यस आई होप द थॉट प्रोसेस इज देयर इन योर माइंड नाउ टाइम टू एक्सप्लोर एंड ट्राई नाउ आई बी वेरी क्लियर विद इंस्ट्रक्शन आई एल गिव वन टू टू मिनट्स ओके रेदर आई वेट फॉर टू मिनट्स एंड देन डिस्कस ठीक है एक बार पढ़ने का टाइम देंगे आप ट्राई करिए आप, आपका जब आंसर आ जाए आप आंसर कर दीजिए मैं दो मिनट के बाद ही डिस्कस करूंगा ठीक है चलिए तो लेट्स डू अट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस लेट्स स्टार्ट गिव मी अ मिनट चलिए बनाइए इसको
All right, chalo to let's uh, discuss. Johnson is on uh, firm grounds uh, when he asserts that Dickinson's poetry ke early editors distorted her intentions. But Johnson ka bhi text mein distortion hai. Uh, to standardize Dickinson's work, uh, Johnson has used dash. Okay, now. Dash as a mark of punctuation, which there was no choice that Dickinson made. So, what is the main point? Johnson's use of dash in the text of Dickinson's poetry also no, misleads readers about the poet's intentions. B. Although Johnson's attempt to produce a more favorable, uh, more faithful text of Dickinson's poetry is well-meaning, his study of materials lacks sufficient thoroughness. Yes, lacks sufficient thoroughness. As a point, nahi hai. Pe simple sa distortion ka point hai. Distortion versus lacking thoroughness are two different things. A is more accurate. So B ka second part makes it a no. A is more accurate. We are talking about distortion of text. Text. Samjho isko. Ek, ek author hai purana jisne kuch likha hai. Li, kuch kaha hai. Usko koi likh raha hai. To likhne mein usko dash use kar diya hai. Woh shayad use karta nahi karta sure nahi hai. That is the kahani. Got it? Why A is more accurate? Everyone. Text पढ़ना और समझना भी जरूरी है ना. That is why I share articles every day. Read guys है ना. The more you read, the better you get. कल का तो जो मैं share करने वाला हूँ ना. Seriously, बहुत ही मतलब it's so amazing कल का article it's tough actually. I want all of you to read कल वाला article जो reading club में आएगा. ठीक है. The more you read, the better you get. All right. चलो next question. Try this one. Aram say, I'll give you two minutes. Start. No need to mark if you're not sure. But try. Try to be sure konsa nahi hoga.
All right. Pay attention, everyone. Let's see. Aviraj, Divyanshu, Mohit, everyone. Rashid, Shreya, Chandan, Vivek. Good, good, good. Samya, Vashu, fine. Ek bar dekho, sab koi. Sanidya. I'll just uh, discuss my thought process. While reading, I'll say rent control leads to specifying maximum rent. It helps some tenants in the short run, but adversely in the long run because of quality issues. So best captures the essence of text. Option A, tenants prefer low quality accommodations. Okay, ek minute dena. And learn to be happy, my dear students. Be excellent things which we are happy. So if you learn to say big no's, you will tend to get confidence in the exam hall, right? So option A is a clear no. Why? Because nobody prefers low uh, uh, quality accommodations. It's not said like that. Okay. So A is a no. Let's see further. Ek minute do. Ah. B. Rent control may help in the short run, but affects quality and availability in the long run. Fair enough. Uh, C. Rent control is common. It does nothing to alleviate shortages in rental housing. So what? That's not the main theme. As a theme, the I nahi hai. Na? So it's a no. D. Rent control is generally introduced for political reasons. And it takes political action. Chalo yaar. I, I, I need a smile for this. Come on. Aise options mein khush hone ka hai. Do we get my point? Answer is B. बहुत सिंपल वाले में खुश हो और आगे बढ़ो बिना कॉन्फिडेंस के खेल नहीं चलता है ना इफ यू गेट इजी ऑप्शंस एंजॉय देम एंड मूव एंड रन थ्रू देम देर विल बी सम क्वेश्चन वेर यू विल गेट स्टक बट देर ऑल्सो बी क्वेश्चन वेर यू विल गेट इजी ऑप्शन एंड यूल मूव चलो गुड आई होप दिस इज क्लियर एक बार चंदन आवाज नहीं आ रही है तथागत मुस्कान एनी वन प्लीज कन्फर्म एम आई ऑडिबल Okay, Chandan, please reconnect. Okay, all right. Tick. Chaliye. Next one. Ye, I think chat previous year hai ye wala. Two minutes start. राइट सो अजीमा राशिद पल्लवी आई थिंक ये वाला कैट एटीन या ट्वेंटी का ही क्वेश्चन है लेट्स सी आई एल फॉलो द सेम प्रोसेस ध्यान देना सबको आज टूडेज बोर्ड प्लान सक्सेसफुल सक्सेशन प्लानिंग सीईओ के रिव्यूज में सब डिस्कस होता है जनरली अगर कंपनी प्रॉब्लम में है तो बाहर से किसी को बुलाया जाता है नहीं तो कोई इंटरनल को रख लिया जाता है यही सब मेन पॉइंट है ओके okay. Now the correct answer is C, as many of you have pointed out. पहले एक बार C देखते हैं. 
Recognizing the need for careful succession planning and choosing a CEO, modern firms that are in trouble choose an outsider, whereas those doing good choose an insider. Fair enough. See, why is this? I understand. Let's see. A. Boas today have a huge challenge. Where is he saying that there is a very big challenge? The tone is not good. A. Improper tone for a proper summary. Improper tone for a summary. The, the summary doesn't carry this tone. B. Unsuccessful firms always choose first of all it's a part and again always is an improper tone. I am telling you to tone tone because I am telling you to learn this a little bit. D. Succession planning is an important challenge. D is a part, not whole. Uh, C is the best whole. Are we clear? Topic is coming in. पढ़ते समय ही ऐसा सोचोगे कि what you are looking for तो you will become more and more accurate okay all right good चलिए let's move all right I, I'll share the deck with you there there are uh, more questions but uh, Let's solve some odd one outs too. Chalo, ye wala try karo to. Let's discuss some more in class. This is an easy one. One, two minutes. Find the odd one out. Sabse pehla cheez kya hota na? Try to form an order. Koshish karo ki ko check. एग्जैक्ट ऑर्डर जरूरी नहीं है कि एकदम वन टू थ्री फोर क्या ऑर्डर है वही पता चल जाए बट कौन सा कनेक्टेड है वो सोचने की कोशिश करो लिंक लिंक टू आर डिफरेंट थिंग्स है ना लिंक प्लस ऑर्डर आर टू कॉन्सेप्ट दोनों जरूरी नहीं है बट पार्ट ऑफ दिस विल आल्सो हेल्प और थिंक ऑफ कौन सा थोड़ा अलूफ है All right, so let's see. Uh, confidence में जल्दी करना है मतलब ये नहीं है कि order बनाने का कोशिश बिल्कुल करना नहीं है ना ये भी ध्यान देना है. How many of you could get it right? सामिया का तो मैं देख रहा हूँ. The answer is E. पहले try to understand what I'm saying. मधु का भी आया good. विशाल राशिद आशीष ओके चलो एक बार पढ़ के देखो तो सी डी ए भी कितने लोग को समझ में आ रहा है देखो गुड श्याम गुड 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 देखो देखो गाइस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ही शैल डिस्ट्रॉय लुक एट ये सब पैरा जम्बल्स में हम लोग फर्दर देखेंगे स्टेटमेंट डी को देखो He shall destroy. Who is he? The conqueror. So C and D is linked. The conqueror will destroy and he shall destroy. ये सब पलाना डिम करना, right? कैसे करेगा? Okay. B में देखो. 
सीक्रेट पर्सन शाल स्ट्राइक विद वेपन फायर और पॉइजन है ना हाउ विल पीपल स्ट्राइक से पहले बता रहा है ए में कि क्लांस विल बी मेड टू स्ट्राइक एट द वीक पॉइंट राइट तो ए बी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्ट्राइक ठीक है तो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ वॉर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर वॉर ईज टू जेनरिक स्टैंड अलोन जेनरिक मतलब बहुत जेनरलाइज है एंड हैंस इज द ऑर्ड वन आउट ठीक है आई होप यू आर गेटिंग द मैसेज हेयर लेट्स ट्राई टू फोकस अ बिट मोर ऑर्डर देखने की भी कोशिश करो नहीं तो गड़बड़ होने का चांस रहता है Am I audible? Uh, anyone, please confirm. All right. Okay. Fair enough. So uh, I think uh, you have got this one. There are a couple of more questions, uh, but uh, there seems to be some hanging problem uh, on my laptop. So what we'll do is, I'll uh, share the deck with you, Anna, with explanation. Two, three question more. Uh, in in topics ke just to uh, understand the topic better uh, ek bar usko go through kar lo hai na and uh, then uh, the concept of this uh, chapter is uh, pretty much clear right and uh, we will be holding a practice class soon theek hai schedule mein aa jayega so i hope uh, you have understood the concept here odd one out para summary basic uh, approach is everybody clear ek round of thumbs up ho jaye if the concept is clear everyone क्या सोचना है इन टॉपिक्स में ऑल राइट वेरी वेल देन आई एम शेयरिंग दिस फाइल विथ यू आई ऑल्सो शेयर द वीडियो एंड विल सी यू देन थैंक यू Thank you everyone thank you